Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to show you how I make bacon and scrambled eggs on the griddle. First I like to crack my eggs into a glass bowl that way if I lose a shell I can find it. Then I'll do some water. Feel free to do milk. I'm not the egg police. However you want to do it. I will say use a block of cheese and grate it yourself. I've said this numerous times in my videos. I don't like pre-shredded cheese. Grate it yourself. You'll love the way it melts. 350 to 375 for the griddle. Then I'm going to toss down all of the bacon and we're going to do that first so one of the big things on this is your order you want to make sure you do the bacon first and you do your eggs last the bacon will hold just fine on the griddle in the corner or in a cooling rack wherever you want it but the eggs will just either continue to cook or they'll get cold really really quickly so we'll put all this down also this is just the way i do eggs you do them however you want, however your family likes them. Like I said, I'm not the egg police. People on the internet get real particular about scrambled eggs. I mean, scrambled eggs, just if you want them runnier and like custard like a French omelet, French style, go for it. If you want them brown like a diner, whatever makes you happy. So it takes about seven minutes per side on the bacon. We'll flip them. Then here's where I like the rack. I'm gonna take the ones that are done to the level I want and put them on my little warming rack. And the other ones we'll just leave on there to cook more you know your griddle is pretty even but it's still some bacon cooks faster and so we'll let those finish up and i scraped the bacon grease off threw down some butter for the eggs there's still some bacon grease on the griddle so now we're going to be cooking our eggs in god's two greatest gifts to mankind butter and bacon grease oh just look at that thing bubbling up right there man that just makes me hungry again and i already made this so um you want to use a decent amount of butter you can use oil i just like the way butter tastes with the bacon grease then we're going to grab our eggs and i'm going to show you the entire process of me cooking the eggs it's only like a minute and a half please don't click off the video but just i like to slow pour the eggs so i turn the two burners on the right or the top of your screen off there's enough residual heat to where i'm right around 300 to 325 and then the two burners on the left or the bottom of your screen are still cooking the bacon and they're on low so you can see the eggs as they get towards the bottom half they start cooking more and then i just make a little hole there and i put more eggs in my big tip here is one make sure you get your griddle down to 300 to 325 because you don't need to cook them in like 15 seconds so they'll get burnt and then you'll be rushed and you'll be panicked and it's supposed to be a fun easy like sunday morning breakfast you know and then two is don't be afraid to cut the heat off altogether and pour the eggs slow, like slowly. See how I'm not doing all of them at once and they're not going all over the place? There's no rush. I mean, there just, there isn't, you just, you keep moving them around. I kind of fold them in on themselves, kind of like you would do an omelet if you're doing it in a pan. And they just slowly cook up. And then after I pour a little bit more in here, almost got all of it we uh, will add the cheese eventually and I just you know a lot of times if you want to chop them up some people love chopping their eggs on the griddle that's cool if you want to get them brown and leave them on there a little longer or if you want to cook them if you don't want to scrape the bacon grease and cook them in all that bacon grease that's another option they'll, they'll have bits of bacon and they'll they'd be what I would call like dirty diner eggs but I don't mean that in a bad way I mean they taste delicious they're gonna soak up all the bacon grease so here goes all the cheese and I'll just start folding it in. I like to have the cheese all in there inside and on top. And so we'll fold it in and then we'll kind of take some of the spots that aren't cooked as well and move them closer to my hot zone, which is at the bottom of the, of your screen. And then another thing with eggs is pull them a little bit before you, you, you think they're done, whatever you determine is done. So I like mine, you know, they'll still look a little runnier. That's because there's cheese on there. And they're about the way I want them. So I'll add some more cheese. Then we'll go ahead and throw the dome on to melt them. And now you got some salt and pepper at the end. You could add this earlier. I like to add it at the end. That's your bacon and scrambled eggs on a griddle. If you want to see another breakfast cook, click your screen now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Keep on griddling.